Uh, so given the recent economic challenges and rising inflation rates in Nigeria, uh, do, we, do you believe the government's fiscal policies are effectively addressing the needs of the people? Or are they benefiting more of the elites? Well, you have asked that question differently earlier on, and I'm happy that uh, 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 Dr. Fayemi answered it, you know, to say that uh, uh, the people, oh, sorry, it wasn't you, actually, the, the MD, you know, or the GM, who asked the question that uh, the people are complaining and they are believing that our fiscal policies are not impacting and they are the only ones making the sacrifices. I think that's the way he put it, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm sure he addressed it uh, uh, properly, you know, when uh, Dr. Fahemi addressed it uh, uh, on that issue, that sometimes it's not exactly what the people feel is what has to be done that has to be done. So, yes, there are so many things uh, uh, in the country that uh, uh, are being addressed. You know, when people tell you the good old days, talking of 1960s, 1940s, and the rest of that, people are really avoiding realities, you know. Because in these 1960s, 1940s that you have, you don't have the development that you have today. You know, people were not making the kind of money we're making today. People were not driving the kind of cars that we have today. People are not building the kind of houses that are being built in Nigeria today. You know, so yes, there are some good old days, but there were also challenges with the good old days. And there are the days today, and there are also the advantages and the good things happening today. You know, so I, what I notice and what I learned about governance is that you can never, ever satisfy everybody. You know, so whatever you do, you know, some other people are going to come on the social media and say, no, we don't want it. You know, uh, that's not what we want. Oh, this is what we want. And that's why I gave you the example of if we have... 3 billion naira as an income and we have to spend it. Somebody will say, no, pay workers the money. Somebody will say, no, construct this road. Somebody will say, no, construct this hospital for us. Some, depending on their needs, you know, because people are going to come out with different things. And I'm happy, really, I, I, I got excited when the, uh, Dr. Fahemi also definitely having the same kind of problem. He said he has 3 million people and 3 million ways of governing the state, you know, because everybody is going to tell you, this is the way I do it. And those who have never been elected, never ever participated in election, never been a leader in any kind of thing. They know how to run the government more than you, you know, because they will tell you, this is the way they do it. You say, how do you know? Because you have never been in it. You know, so, and I think that's, that's the advantage of freedom. That's what uh, democracy is all about, you know. So you take from everybody and then you put it together and you come out with what you think is the best thing. So if you talk to the president today, the president will tell you, yes, the decisions that I'm taking for Nigeria, I strongly believe they are the best decisions for Nigeria. The policies that we have today are the best policies for Nigeria. Because that's his conviction, you know, and that's the reason why he's taking those decisions based on what he has seen or what he has uh, learned or, or, or the future that he is in, you know, and I think that's, that's probably the answer that I can give you.